down here. What are you doing? Get down. Now, I know what you're going to say, but I'm telling you. They're here. You boys need to get your heads out of your behinds and listen to me for once. You see them cows out there? I don't dare leave them at home. That's how bad it's getting. They're close. Now, look it. Them damn neighborhood kids keep sneaking into my barn and tipping my cows. And y'all ain't done nothing about it. Well, last night, they done did it again. But this time, they went and tipped my wife, Betsy. I went chasing after them little hooligans and managed to corner the one with the bucket-shaped head. He just stood there, staring at me with his squinty little eyes. Poor Betsy. Trying to feed the barn cats, and the next thing you know, she's flopping around like an upside-down turtle. Look it, she may not be a tiny woman anymore, but she's still my beautiful Betsy. And that jackass with the tumbleweed hair tipped over like a damn cow. Poor girl puts on a moo-moo and suddenly everyone's a comedian. Her back hurt too much to climb up into my truck, so I had to put her on the trailer with the rest of the livestock. He took off running, but it was slicker than snot on a doorknob out there. He tripped in the mud like the pig-nosed swine he was. Almost busted them chicken lips of his. Heck, I'm surprised he could see it all with those thorn bushes he called eyebrows. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure that punk was from around here. I think he's with them. That was a big one! They're here! Uh, oh no! Betsy! I'm coming, darling! You're doing a great job, Rookie. Keep it up. Officer, the name be Scurvy Steve, and I have a story for ye. Me crew and I caught wind of a blackout on the mainland, so I thought I'd let them stretch their sea legs and go a plundering. So there I was, all alone on me ship, when I heard a sound like a kraken coming up from the depths. Bam! My booty was gone! Look at this, officer! There was once a masterpiece here! The finest specimen of rounded flesh you've ever seen! And now it's gone! Ah! Alright, fine. This here is Herbie, me therapy parrot. Now where was I? Ah yes! Next thing I knew, I was looking into the enormous eyes of a mermaid. An ungodly mix between fish and woman. I tried to take back me booty, but she whipped me hand with her long seaweed-like locks. I worked hard for such a fine booty, lifting and toning. Look at it, officer! Just look how round and plump it was! Ah, and this one, Cancun in 84! What a fine year! Ah, thank you, Herbie. Filled with rage, I almost swung at her needle-like nose. But then I realized who she be! Me ex-girlfriend, officer! I'd know that sharp dagger-like jaw anywhere! She was able to slip away and had the nerve to blow me a kiss with those big lips of hers before disappearing like a coward into the depths. She knows me booty brings all the girls to the stern. I used to shake it like this! And they'd all come a-running. But now me shaker is down in the depths with that evil woman. Curse that slimy sea wench! <coughs> Yar! <coughs> Fine! <sighs> I'd be nothing without me booty, officer. 
It's for the scurvy. You're doing a great job, Rookie. Keep it up. Hello, mate. Professional bird watcher Chuck Speed here. I came from down under to get a glimpse of the legendary white feathered huffle sniggins. I was perched up in a tall redwood, waiting for the little bugger, when out of nowhere my arch nemesis, Boxeyed Jim, snuck up behind me. I was able to get a good few hits in, but after I yanked off that sad excuse for a toupee, he knocked me right out of the tree. Whoa, what was that? The aliens have taken over! Looks like old Stumpy was right. We're gonna have to put the sketching on hold and take our city back. You ain't a child no more, rookie, so man up! We have to channel our bravery and lay lines in the sand. Let's protect what's ours! Alright, rookie, let's get to work! <laughs> <laughs> 